Thanks for watching Two for Ten. I'm Melissa. Welcome to my kitchen. Tonight for dinner, I'm trying something different. I'm answering a viewer's question. That's right, folks. The contact page on my website does work. So our viewer's question was, what the hell am I supposed to do with the spices in my spice rack? Looking for something easy and tasty. Got any ideas? Hell yeah! Lamb ground lamb as a matter of fact. I've got a mouth-watering recipe that'll knock the dust off the old spice rack and kick your taste buds into overdrive. It's both tasty and easy. So let's get started. The dinner we're preparing tonight is spice rack lamb. Now this recipe includes five spices from our spice rack. You'll need one pound of lean ground lamb, salt, pepper, garlic powder, minced onion, one egg, and our spice rack spices. Crushed mint, savory, thyme, rosemary, and caraway seeds. I like to mix all of them together and lightly toast them for just a couple minutes over medium heat. I've turned my oven on broil low if you have the option, and now I'm going to get started on the spices. Crushed mint. It's usually dried spearmint. It's used widely in desserts, but also salad dressings, vegetable dishes, grilled meats, and rices. Savory, bold and peppery in flavor. It's used in bean dishes, stews, vegetable dishes, and with roasted meats, fowl, and fish. Thyme, delicately green with a faint clove aftertaste. It works well with veal, lamb, fish, beef, poultry, stuffings, casseroles, soup and stews, and the list goes on. Rosemary. It's distinctive and strong and it has a piney flavor with a slight ginger aftertaste. It goes well with all meats and game, especially when roasted, and it's great with veggies, lentils, dressings, and cream sauces. Caraway seeds. They have a sweet warm aroma with a flavor kind of like anise and fennel. They're most commonly used in rye bread, but also used in cakes, stews, vegetable dishes, and meat dishes. Toasting it like this, I think, brings out the flavor of the spices a little more, especially in the caraway seeds. Now that these are nice and toasted, we're going to add them to the rest of our ingredients. We're just going to dump our spices on top of the meat, add one egg, beaten, and mix them with our ground lamb until we have an evenly spiced blend. Don't be afraid to get dirty. Just remember to wash your hands afterwards. Now I've taken my ground lamb, formed them into patties, and placed them on a broiler pan. Now we're going to cook these for 8 to 10 minutes, 3 to 4 inches away from the heat source. So if you don't have a broiler pan, do not attempt this recipe. The grease needs a place to drip down. If it doesn't, you're going to start a grease fire. No broiler pan? Why not grill? Now while they're cooking, we're going to get started on the sauce. Seriously, it doesn't get easier than this. You're going to take one part coarse mustard, country mustard, to three parts fig preserves. You're going to mix well and serve. It's that simple. Step right up, folks, to view the most fearsome killer in the animal kingdom. That's right, they're dangerous. Step back, step back. <laughs> Easy, <laughs> My mother's a saint. I'm telling you, they're mean and nasty. Don't fall for that puppy dog face. One false move and they'll get the drop on you. <laughs> anyway, we're talking lamb today. And believe it or not, lamb can be a part of a balanced and healthy diet. Even three ounces of ground lamb will contain 43% of the recommended daily allowance of protein and 74% of recommended vitamin B12. Oh yeah, and a bunch of other things that you could easily read, so I won't bother saying. Ground lamb doesn't have anywhere near as much saturated fats as red meat, so it's more closely related it's to- It's where I can see it! Let me tell you how this is gonna work right here! What the hell? 
burgers you're gonna hand over all your money and your jewelry. Then you're gonna turn around and count to 40. When you're done counting to 40, you can turn back around, call the cops, and tell you've been robbed by a sheep. Okay, nobody panic. <laughs> Alright, buddy. No one wants to get hurt here. Why don't you just cool the f out? Did you just tell me to cool the f out? Look! Cool the f out! Don't you tell me to cool the f out! I'm the one with the gun! Why don't you cool the f out? I'm telling you, cool the f out! Now you cool the f out! Cool the f out! No, you cool the f out! Oh! Look what I have here! Why don't you just cool the f out? No, you cool the Oh, would you just pull a blade on me? Cool the f out! No, you cool the f out! Cool the f out! Do you think I'm gonna get this far and not be prepared to shoot a f I think you're in for a world of hurt, Snuggles. This is your last warning. Bring the pay, Rachel Ray! Oh, you did not call me that f ah! You will learn oh! my Ooh! name and get oh! it! This good old-fashioned nightmare fuel has been brought to you by the good people from Chef Melissa TV. Thank you, and good night. Now that the lamb's done, we're ready to plate. I'm serving mine with rosemary red bliss potato wedges and chopped spinach. One pound lean ground lamb, $3.50. For your rosemary potatoes, you want to cut your potatoes into wedges. I cut mine small so they cook more evenly. Sprinkle with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and rosemary. Drizzle with some olive oil and bake at 425 for 8 to 10 minutes. Drizzle a little extra olive oil on before you serve. Chopped spinach is frozen favorite. Just put in the microwave for a minute and 15 seconds, drain excess water, put it back in for another minute and 20. One small jar of fig preserves, $1.98. One small jar of country mustard, $1.69. And that's our meal. Dinner for two people for less than $10 in about 20 minutes. And we use five spices from our spice rack. Thanks for watching 2 for 10. I'm Melissa, and I am ready to eat.